In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to share a link from your OneDrive. The easiest way to get to your OneDrive is through our intranet. There is a button in the upper right hand corner on the JT Web homepage. You need to click that. Then you want to log in uh, with your normal credentials. Once you're in your OneDrive, you're going to want to navigate to the resource that you would like to share with someone. In this case, I'm going to just share a regular Microsoft Word document. And if you notice when you hover over that, that doc, you're going to see the ellipses, which are three dots. You want to double click that and you'll see that you can, your options are to open, share, get a link, download, delete, and so forth. But we're, there are two ways that we can share. We can just go through a share menu or we can do get a link. I'm first going to, I'm going to go through share. And notice I, I have a link that says anyone with this link can edit this item. I may or may not want those kind of permissions on this document. So if I want to change that, I'm going to click through that link. And notice off to the right hand side, I have some choices. When I go to the drop down, I can uh, select who has permissions to view this particular document or edit it. I can do anyone with this link only people at JTHS, or I can actually limit it to, to some very specifically specific people. In this case, I'm going to share it with only people who are at uh, Joliet Township High School. And I just want to share this with them, so I'm not going to allow any editing, editing on this, but I could do that if I want to collaborate with someone. So I'm going to change that. I click OK. I can then type in the name of anyone that I would like to share my document with. In this case, I'm going to share it with Sarah. I can add a message. And then click Share. Notice when I hovered over the, the ellipses, I, I can also go to Get a Link. And notice the permissions still allow anyone with a link to be able to edit that item. I can change the permissions the same way that I did before. And I have the same drop down menu, anyone, JTHS, or only specific people. I can select whether I want the link to expire or allow editing. And in this case, I'm going to allow editing. I can click and add specific people again. And click OK. And here, instead of uh, sending an, an email message, I'm going to copy and grab that link. I allow access. I can copy it, and the check shows that I actually have it copied. And I can paste this anywhere I need to, whether it's in an email or on my JT Learn page or my Google Classroom or, or wherever I like. Another way to share a document is to actually have it open first. And notice when the document is, document is open, I have a share option button that's in that in the upper right hand corner. I can click share. And here it, it takes me through the same kinds of privileges. I can invite someone uh, to edit. I can give them a link and I can also see who it's shared with. So it's going to look very similar to what I did with the ellipses. So in this case, I'm going to I'm going to get a link and I have some permissions. Again, I can have a restricted link, a view link, edit link, um, a view link with no sign in, and an edit link with no sign in required. Typically, I'm going to want my uh, only to be able to share this with JT people, so I'm going to do an edit link, but in an, an account uh, with JT. And then I can copy that link. I can paste that into, again, um, an email into another document, into Google Classroom or JT Learn or wherever I like it, and I can share that um, with anyone I choose. Thanks for watching.